Should you be backing Cyberpunk 2077 Gangs of Night City the board game? Is the hype real or is this just a reskin version of The Godfather? Let's talk about it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Clayton and this channel is dedicated to help you guys find the right games for you. And if you like the content, don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you stay to the end of this video because I have a channel update that you guys might want to hear about. Now with that out of the way, what is this game about? Well for starters, this is an area control car driven game where players play as a gang of Night City with each gang having their own abilities and strategies. You are driven to try to complete different opportunity cards to gain street cred. And when it comes to gameplay, each player controls three different types of units in the gang and each of them can do very different things. You can also hire edge runners to give you an advantage in the game. As an example, you can hire a Johnny Silverhand and this will give you an extra point every time you activate him on your turn but each player can only take two actions on their turn. This is indicated by the action discs that's on the player board. The area control of this game comes in when you're moving throughout the city trying to complete your different opportunity cards and you'll need to have presence and dominance in an area to score that card, depending on what the card calls for. In order to have dominance in an area, you have to make sure you build a hideout and to have units in that area. That is the key difference between presence and dominance. Everyone will start with the same combat cards but this will change throughout the gameplay when you choose to upgrade your cards. Combat is key and this is how you remove units from an area that you want. And because everyone starts with the same combat cards, when you enter a fight, you can slightly predict what your opponent has. There's also a bit of worker placement in this game where there are several spots on the board where you can place your units to take a special action. Now this isn't going to be a campaign game, but they have teased there's going to be different stories that you can play. What does that mean? Well, let me explain what I think. Well, I believe this means that the setup and gameplay is going to be slightly different between the different storylines. I think the story will affect how you spend your resources, how you gain them, what edge runners you can hire, and how much street cred you need in order to win. So think of stories as modifiers on how to play the game, with slightly different rules based off the story. That is my best guess of what stories are. Let me know what you guys think they are in the comment section down below. Things I like about the game that I've seen so far is the combat system. I really think that's a cool idea where it doesn't really matter how many units are in one area to determine who wins combat. It's determined based off the combat card. So every player in that area will play one combat card, depending on what that combat card says, and then based off how many pistol symbols get revealed off that card, that would determine who wins the combat. However, some players may want to lose because they want to play that combat card to get a special effect of that card, such as gain a point, or maybe they're able to get some resources things along those lines. I also like the fact that your actions are limited based off what action discs you have used on your turn until you reclaim your actions. This forces the players to experience the whole game, to go into combat, to activate a net runner, to also upgrade their cards, so no one is really falling behind. Now that brings me to a few things that I wanna mention that I don't like about this game. Like I mentioned in a previous video, I'm not a huge fan of those miniatures. I also don't like the fact that the hideout tokens and the drone tokens look very similar. I'd rather have the drone tokens as standees or miniatures. I feel like when you're playing on a table, it's gonna be very hard to determine if that is a drone or a hideout, and that can change your strategy based off those being completely two different things. I also like the fact that the game doesn't really feel like it's gonna give you the video game experience. What made Cyberpunk a really great video game is, besides the bugs, but the open world experience and the narrative choices that you made that had a huge impact on how the game would end. So is it gonna be worth backing? Well, I do feel like the price is high based off all the components that we've seen so far, especially that shipping price is crazy high. Again, I would recommend backing at $1 so you can see the final shipping price when it comes to when the pledge manager opens. It does seem like at least come on is being honest when it comes to their shipping prices and you are getting some Kickstarter exclusives if you back this game now. But again, I would check with your local game store because they might get some shipping prices cheaper. Now I want to talk to you guys about the future of this channel. We are almost at 1000 subscribers. I really can't believe it. I've been working so hard towards that number, I didn't think I was going to make it, but the fact that we're almost there really blows my mind. And I cannot thank you all enough, this channel has grown so much, I really appreciate it. And I want to ask you guys a question. What videos do you want to see on my channel more of? Do you guys want more top 10 lists, more upcoming Kickstarter videos, more rapid fire overviews? Let me know in the comment section down below because I'm really trying to build this community and help give you guys the information that you guys want. I'm also going to be doing a Q&A video for when I hit 1000 subscribers. So if there's anything you guys want to ask me, ask me in the comment section down below and I'll be happy to answer those questions in that video. Until the next one, I'll catch you guys later. Take care.